Sometimes using an angle ruler you'll want to measure angles that are larger than 180. 180 degree angle would be a straight line. And I could use that by just forming a straight line with the angle ruler and you can see that this one goes well beyond 180 degrees. Uh, we still want to align the angle ruler in the same way that we did before. The center blue line of the ruler side of the angle ruler is going to go on the first ray. And then I'm going to move this ray or excuse me, this arm of the angle ruler down until it lines up with that. So I just, again, it's three different things that I need to align. The center line here needs to be aligned with that ray. The rivet needs to be aligned with the vertex. And then this center line is here. And then once I've got that, I can remove the angle ruler. And I can read that this is um, between 210 and 215 degrees. When I go out and look at the increments out here, I can see that um, it's closer to 215 degrees. It's one degree away, it's 214 degrees. Um, so you'll want to be real careful when you're reading this um, that you pay attention to where the black line crosses the um, angle ruler out here because the angle ruler only gives you increments from 210 to 215 if you want to get any more specific than that you'll have to read the angle ruler out here where the ray crosses the angle ruler.